Hello everyone, author DL Tillery here, the Mistress of Horror, and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, but you press that subscribe button, give this video a like, and ring that bell, so you know when I'm uploading new videos. Welcome back to my channel, and it is the second Sunday of March. It's just moving on right through, and it is time for my writer's vlog. Oh, oh, February, where did you go? Okay, so I was taking out my ink and quill set to try out, you know, writing with it because I've never written with one before. And I was like, okay, why would I go to open the red? Look what it did. Look, look, look what it, look what it did. It's gotten red all over my finger. I have a feeling that's probably not going to be the easiest to get off because it's ink. But ink does come off, maybe. So you guys can see this live. What I'm, what I'm about to try to do. Well, not live, but you get what I mean. Hold on. All right. So I, I have no idea what I'm doing here, obviously. But we're gonna try and see what's up. Okay. I, okay. All right. Let me. So maybe it has to pull. And then. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Oops. Maybe they like dip someone in there and be like, ah, oh, we want this right. All right, so I got something going here. Okay. Yeah. Once it gets it in the right placement, then it's simple enough. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. So, February has left us, and we are in March. I did the Gothic Hearts Reading Challenge for February, so not a lot of writing happened during that month. I decided to turn my attention to the sequel to The Room Within um, near the end of February when I was finished with the Gothic Hearts Reading Challenge. So, that's going fine. <laughs> um... Life is really busy right now and stressful, lots of things going on and decision making to do and all that adulting stuff. I did manage to work on some of um, Trapped Within, which is the planned sequel to The Room Within, which was one my short, my first released short horror story. And it always was a part two, so it wasn't something that was planned later or something like that but it was always going to be a part two um and <laughs> if you've read the room within then the lead up to this part two wouldn't be necessarily too surprising though i know a lot of people who have read it are kind of like well how is it a sequel because the, the main character of the first one kind of had a bad outcome <laughs> Then how's the sequel? But you'll see. I don't want to give anything away right now. Um, the cover is being worked on by myself. Because I did get into making covers now. Um, I actually have a workstation for making covers. I have a lot of uh, software now. And I've been teaching myself how to do covers and studying. So back to school type of situation. Um... But yeah, so that's what I've been writing, working on. Of course, I'm always writing poetry because I am going to release a poetry collection at some point, And I have my Lair of the Mistress series that I do. So constantly always writing poetry for that and for the collection. That being said, um, room, The Room Within Part 2, Trapped Within, is also a short story because obviously it's the second part to the first one, um, which would probably possibly turn into like a mid more mid um maybe a closer to a novella size the first one wasn't very long i think the first one was like five thousand words or under five thousand words actually the room was within was under five thousand words the second one will be a little bit longer than that probably closer to eight thousand words or something like that it's not finished yet so i can't for sure say that <laughs> but yeah um that's what I've been working on. That's what I've been doing. It's not a lot to report because of the reading challenge taking up my February instead of heavy writing. I'm ready to go into my heavy writing season now. Um, plus all the 
publishing plans that I have for this year that hopefully will work out because I do have a lot of personal stuff going on with, you know, possible moving, which is a whole nother beast and headache. And on top of that, decisions of possibly trying to get a new vehicle, that too. So then, you know, that's a lot of chunky money in both of those avenues. So that makes me have to really look at my budget and see what I have available for publishing you know and people are like well you're pretty much publishing for free but it's not <laughs> because even though it through if you publish through amazon specifically yes it can be though the cover and things like that are done for Cagliostro, i still have to the pay put money into the marketing if i want it to do decent like i want to give to my debut novel you know i have like debut short stories that i released i just <laughs> It's, it's not the easiest thing, and I, you know, it, we're already into March, so I have, like, a scheduled plan to release m multiple things. It's more heavy for me um, at the second half of the year and not so much at the early part of the year. So, I don't expect to release anything until mid to late summer, I want to say, long as things go according to the one plan, because I have, like, three plans depending on which one happens with some personal stuff, then the releases can happen as they are, they are originally planned in my head. So I haven't released anything to the public as far as, like, for sure, for sure release dates for any of this stuff is because it could be one of the three plans of releases of things. So, that being said, that's where my writing is right now. Um, I didn't have a lot of footage for this vlog because... <laughs> Just no time to really record because I've been very busy. And then the reading portion of it took up my usual time with writing because I don't write when I'm reading that heavily. Because I've read, um, I, I read five books, DNF one book, um, and I watched a film, but I watch like films on the regular. It's a lot easier just to do that anyway when you're in bed. It's not like when you have to come to your office and you have to pull out your tab, you have to write, it's different, it's not the same thing, it's really a relaxed type of um, thing. I look forward to hearing more about Trapped Within, um, the sequel to Room Within. Um, if you have not gotten to Room Within, please do check it out over on Amazon. It's always 99 cents for the um, Kindle version and then um, $4 and some change for the paperback if you're more of a physical book owner like myself. I tried to make it available for everybody in different versions. It doesn't have an audio book that's released, though it, on Harpies in the Trees channel, she did r do a reading of The Room Within if you want to hear it in a read manner. I might actually end up getting uh, someone to do the audio book for The Room Within. It is a short listen if you do do that that way. Um, but yeah, I would like to release an audiobook for all of my stuff, um, because I think it's good to have all varieties of your work available for people for different reasons, you know what I mean? Some people like to listen to books, some people can only listen to books, some people, um, can't just read a physical book because of maybe vision reasons, so having your book in Kindle or something like that could actually make it more accessible for them to see it if their eyesight isn't that great. And an audiobook for people who may not have any eyesight whatsoever. So I think it's good to think about everyone as much as possible who want you'd want to read your book. They might want to read your book, but they might not be able to because you may have it in one form. So much as I love physical, I would never just offer my book in a physical manner or even just in a digital manner because I think it's you're limiting people who are interested in in your book and they have to have it in a very specific way so the more versions of your book out there will make more people be able to read it so that's some food for thought for authors who are self-publishing and I know it's expensive and the different types of media for your books may not be free to publish so it's something to think about it's something that you may or may not be able to do, but it is something to keep on the back burner if, you know, if you're interested in that. But I always think about it when I release my stuff. So that being said, that's the vlog for March and we're going forward here. I'll be writing more heavily now that I am finished with the Gothic Heart Reading Challenge. Actually today we'll be doing the live of 
our books and saying talking about what we read for each category over on um regina's haunted library channel here on youtube so make sure you check it out i did put a link in my community post so go click on that and check us out this evening it's around 7 p.m eastern standard time we hope to see you there at the live so you can hear about the books that we've all read what we thought about them you did hear a little bit of my thoughts on my my um, february wrap up for the beginning of march that i did i mentioned all the stuff that i read is all the gothic hearts books that i did read so yeah Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the vlog and catching up with me a little bit, and I hope you have a good March, and I'll see you next Sunday for the Mistress Moods and Candlelight episode. Hmm, what will I be covering? I guess you'll have to see. Stay scared. There ya! Miss Dirty Girl. Miss Dirty Girl. I'm talking to you, Dirty Girl. <laughs> More mud play? Okay. <laughs> well, I don't care. Blah! Yeah, I know. <laughs>